Are you brewing a blue deck? Are you, like many others, tired of using the same old removal spells? Are you building on a budget? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you have found the right place because today we are breaking down some of my favorite budget blue removal spells. As you know by now, this is brought to you by the EDH Jank Center, your source for everything commander and everything jank, and I am your host, Jordan. Now let's get into it. So for starters, I want to say that on this channel, we always focus on highlighting budget, janky, or underutilized cards because we believe every card deserves a chance to shine. So... Yes, there are probably better, more efficient spells out there, so if you'd like to use those, feel free. Hopefully in this list you'll find some hidden gems that'll help spark some creative deck building choices. And all that being said, here are some of my favorite sub $1 removal spells in blue. Also, we are limiting ourselves by not including counter spells because like, of course, those are dope and what blue does best, so none of that. Okay, now let's dive in. And our first card up today is Depart the Realm. One in a blue instant from Kaldheim, it says, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, and it has a foretell cost. So during your turn, you may pay two and exile this card from your hand face down. Cast it on a later turn for its foretell cost, which is one blue mana. In blue, this is probably one of the most common ways to remove things on people's boards. Cheap spells that can bounce something back to an opponent's hand are plentiful in this game and in this color, but there are some spells that have a little bit of extra spice like this one here. Depart the Realm has a cheeky little ability called Fortell, which was introduced in the Kaldheim sets. Fortell allows us to pay two generic mana and exile this card face down so none of our opponents will know what it is. Then, we can play it for its Fortell cost any time. Now the downside with Fortell is that because there are so little of them, a lot of opponents, if they have a good knowledge of the game, can just surmise what might be there. But hey, they won't know exactly, and that's still an advantage. This is great for a turn two play where you don't have anything else to do, just pay the two mana, stash it for later, and it will most certainly come in clutch when you need it most. All right, next up is a card that was printed this year. It's Deem Inferior, three and a blue sorcery from Modern Horizons 3. It says, this spell costs one less to cast for each card you've drawn this turn. The owner of target non-land permanent puts it into their library second from the top or on the bottom. So this is a bounce spell but a little meaner, because normally bounce spells just return something to someone's hand, allowing them to replay it, but this yeets whatever card it targets to the almost bottom or almost top of their library, making it just a little more inconvenient for our opponents. Mana cost and sorcery speed might detract some people from playing it, but it's really not that hard to discount this because it will essentially always cost three mana since we have our draw step every turn, but extra card draw in blue in commander is not hard to come by either. There are many scenarios where where this could be only one to two mana and it targets non-land permanents. So we can hit anything from creatures to like battles. I don't know. All right, let's move on to the next card, which is Press the Enemy. Two blue, blue instant from the Lord of the Rings set. It says, return target spell or non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. You may cast an instant or sorcery spell with equal or lesser mana value from your hand without paying its mana cost. Okay, shut up. This is the last bounce spell, I swear, but I think this card is hella underrated, okay? Yes, we're paying a bit more mana, but not only can we get something bounce, but we can also yeet something off the stack with that return target spell ability. Very useful if an opponent has tapped out for a big spell and they don't have the mana to recast at the same turn. This can win you games, kiddos, if you play it right. Oh, and we get to cast something for free as a cheeky little bonus. So spell slinger specifically will love this, but so will everyone else because free spells are dope. All right, moving on to River's Rebuke. Four blue, blue sorcery. This one is from New Capanna Commander. It says, return all non-land permanence target player controls to their owner's hand. Okay, chill, 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 chill. This is still a bounce spell, kind of, I get it, but it's also a board wipe, and it's dope, and it's a budget card, and I love it, and it's won me a couple games, okay? Anyways, yeah, pretty simple tech here, kiddos. This is a one-sided, targeted board wipe that can help close out games in a combat-focused mono-blue shell, or any deck that's running blue. It's just... It's a great card. All right, moving on to Ovenomancer. Two and a blue creature, human wizard. This one's from Dominaria Remastered. It says, when Ovenomancer enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you return three basic lands you control to their owner's hand, and then you can tap it. Return Ovenomancer to its owner's hand. Destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated. That creature's controller creates a zero one green sheep creature token, and it's a zero one. 
I have legit never seen this card before, but it's super fun removal on a stick, folks. We do pay a steep price for casting this, but I think you can make it work by running decks heavy on mana rocks. And the ability here is quite rare to see in blue because usually blue is like sneaky with it, bouncing, counter spells, etc. But this literally just tells us to destroy a creature and it's not rapid hybridization. So for that alone, I think this is a really cool little card. And I know there's some really fun mono blue landfall decks or landfall decks that splash blue that wouldn't necessarily complain about having three lands back in hand. So there you go. All right, in the spirit of destroying things, let's talk about this old as hell card, Flash Flood. Flash Flood is one blue mana instant. This copy is from Chronicles and it says, choose one, destroy target red permanent or return target mountain to its owner's hand. So if you're new to the game, red and blue have been beefing since the dawn of magic, since they are opposites in many ways. There are a few spells like this in the archives of magic's history that specifically target red permanence. And I think in a pot of four, you're usually seeing something red at some point. So this warrants a look, especially for you players out there that have regular play groups, this can be a mini meta buster for you. And it's a one drop instant speed destroying stuff card in blue. We love to see it. From super old to pretty new, let's move on to Amphibian Downpour. Two in a blue enchantment aura. This one's from Modern Horizons 3 and it has flash, which means you can play it anytime you could play an instant. And storm. And it says, when you cast the spell, copy it for each spell cast before it this turn, you may choose new targets for the copies. Copies become tokens. It also says Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature loses all abilities and is a blue frog creature with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. So I'm recording this before it's over a dollar, but this card smacks, so I'm predicting that it's going to be over a dollar by the time this publishes. Hopefully not, but it might be. So that makes it the most expensive card of the day, and we're gonna talk about it. We can cast it at instant speed. We get to copy it with storm if we're doing that kind of thing. Although even if we aren't, just having one storm trigger off this can ice two creatures instead of one, and that's pretty dope. And then we get to frogify something. So sick. I mean, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Speak of the devil and he shall appear in the form of the card up next. It is Frogify, one in a blue enchantment aura from Double Masters. It says, enchant creature. Enchanted creature loses all abilities and is a blue frog creature with base power and toughness one one. It loses all other card types and creature types. This is just a classic card, man. I love running stuff like this if I'm splashing blue because personally, I think auras are much cooler than straight up quote, destroy target creature unquote effects. Those types of effects send things to the graveyard where they can be recurred later. And since we don't have many exile effects in blue, these types of cards are a great option since they keep the card on the field and make an opponent go through extra steps to get it back, either through removing the aura or blocking with the creature, sacking it, etc. And also, Look at this guy, man. He's an icon. All right, moving on to Commandeer. Five blue, blue instant. This one's from Commander Masters. It says, you may exile two blue cards from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. And it also says, gain control of target non-creature spell. You may choose new targets for it. If that spell is an artifact, enchantment, or planeswalker, the permanent enters the battlefield under your control. Thievery is huge in blue. And I don't know if a lot of people count it as removal, but I think it counts since we are depriving our opponents of something that is threatening. Commandeer is a cool card on its own, but it's here to also represent the many theft cards you can find in blue that are very cool and useful. Stealing a scary creature is an amazing way of both removing a problem problem and getting some value out of whatever it is you stole. Stealing a spell off the stack is also so sick and can swing the tide of the game in your favor very quickly. Speaking of quick, we are already at the last card of the day. It's Blessed Reincarnation, three and a blue instant from Dragons of Tarkir. It says, Exile target creature and opponent controls. That player reveals cards from the top of their library until a creature card is revealed. That player puts that card onto the battlefield, then shuffles the rest into their library. It also has rebound, which means if you cast this spell from your hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost. Okay, so remember earlier when I said that there aren't that many exile effects in blue? Okay. But I was, I, maybe I was lying a little bit, but, but it was out of ignorance because once I looked it up, there were definitely more than I thought. This is a card that I'd never seen before and thought was really interesting and cool. It's Chaos Warp, but in blue. And just like Chaos Warp, there is a chance that it can backfire on you and an opponent can slam down something even better as a replacement. But I think that that's all part of the fun of casual commander with friends. So I would consider running this one, kiddos. I think it's cool as hell. And just like that, we are at the end of this week's video. What color should I explore next? 
What are your favorite blue removal spells? Did I miss anything? I'm always down there in the comments with you guys, so come on down and have a chat with me. And hey, listen, if you'd like to get extra entries in our monthly Discord giveaways, win prizes in our monthly deck building contests, and play spell table games with me and my podcast co-host Cress every month, check out our Patreon in the description below. We've got lots of awesome ways to support. And if you want to snag a Pyramid Designs playmat through our affiliate link, check that out in the description below. If you use our link, you get 30% off your purchase. And for those who may not have the funds but still want to be part of the community, you can always hop in our Discord completely for free and join our wonderful community of jank lovers. Another free way to support us is by liking and subscribing to the channel, following us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at EDH Jank Center, and that's it. All right, guys, I'm out, and I will see you on the next video.